Folks, I just was on a channel that was live. He was just wrapping his channel up. He's been live for like four hours. And he's got 14,000 subscribers plus, plus subscribers. He's got more than that. I think 14 something. And I, I listen to him and I look at all the people that are chatting in the live chat. And he starts talking about praise. We're going to be going home tomorrow on the rapture on this date. He was setting a date for the rapture for tomorrow. And he's saying, praise God, we're going to be going home and everybody's going along with him. And I think he had 700 viewers, live viewers going on at the same time as they're all praising this man like he's some kind of God that we're all going home tomorrow and it's a we ain't going to have to worry about in the next 24 hours. We're going to be gone up in the clouds. And he's spewing out all these words like he, God revealed him the, the date of the rapture in the Bible. I mean, he has prayed all 14,000 subscribers into believing the rapture's coming tomorrow on the 26th. Yeah, right now it's the 26th. And guess what, folks? They are all 14,000 subscribers or the people that were on there, the 700 that were watching, they're gonna get a big surprise. If it doesn't happen, folks, they're gonna look at this man and say, well, well, some, probably the majority will, will forgive him for getting it wrong, okay? But some are not gonna like it. They're gonna be really upset, and they're gonna be like, wow, I thought this guy knew, knew, the, knew something that we didn't know. Literally, this man was saying he got it that was in plain text view in the Bible out of a verse. I forgot the verse that the rapture, the hidden date was in there. He's praying all 14,000 subscribers are being lured into this man's false doctrine of, or I should say false prophet. He's prophesying the rapture date coming from the Bible, then spewing it out all over his channel in front of 700 live viewers. And they're all saying, amen. They're, they're praising him. They're saying he's great. You're a great man. They're praising him like he's some kind of God or something. Worshiping him. like I, I, Folks, I hate to say it, but he's basically started a cult. That's what I'm beginning to believe. And four hours of brainwashing these poor 700 people into believing that the rapture is definitely coming tomorrow. Um, right now it's 26. Okay, Now folks, don't take this the wrong way. The rapture is coming. We just don't know the day and hour. Because that's what the Bible says, folks. No man knows the day and hour. Okay? According to this guy, and I'm not going to name his channel, okay? I'm not going to do that, okay? Because one, all his, some of his viewers will come to my channel and they'll be attacking me. I don't want to do that. I'm going to keep the channel. I'm not going to name it. Out of respect for everybody. But this man, he's gone such far great lengths... To brainwash all 14,000 subscribers into believing the rapture is coming tomorrow. Either it's the 26th, I believe he said it was, or 27th. He just said tomorrow. I should have screen captured some of the audio and just played the audio for you, what he was saying. But it's like he had his hands up in the air and he was praying that we're all going to be gone tomorrow. That's what he was saying and stuff. Literally just praying away misrepresenting God's word and saying that he knows the day and hour basically is what he's he's up there sitting there saying literally what he's really saying is I know the day and hour it's right here in the Bible it's hidden in these texts what are you doing man what is wrong with this guy he's got 14,000 subscribers and they're all being duped into believing it's coming today folks or tomorrow okay folks Steer away from people like this. Do not go on a channel and they sit there and say they know the day and hour and they're saying it's coming today and they got it from the Bible from a hidden text or something that was hidden within the text of that verse. Wrong, folks. That is wrong. You're misrepresenting the Bible. And you know what God says about people like that? Curse of those that add or take away from the Bible. Look it up. I don't know what verse it is, but you can Google it. 
Those who add or take away are cursed by God. I think that's how he said it. I think how he said it. I, I don't have the verse in front of me. And then he said, and then he's like, he was telling people to pray for pray about he was praying, he was praying on there, and people were, were praying. And you know what I wrote on there? I said, Look, I'm gonna pray for you, man. As you're right as he was praying, I said, Look, I'm gonna pray for you while you're praying for your so-called followers, okay, that you will stop and knock it off, leading all your 14,000 subscribers into believing. Because if it doesn't happen, he's going to do it again. He's going to set another rapture date. If it doesn't fall through, he's going to do it again and set a later rapture date. This man, I was blown away. I can't believe it. And everybody was going amen on like 30 times in a row. Different people saying amen. We're going home today. Oh, I feel bad for these people, man. What is wrong with people today, man? I don't know what his secret agenda is. If he's doing it for views or subscribers. But Satan can use people to lure people in to discredit the rapture. You know what it does? It damages the credibility of the rapture. That's what Satan does. He uses people like that to discredit the rapture and discrediting God. You're dishonoring God. Because then people will stop believing in the rapture. It will all ultimately come down to that. Or they won't believe it's near. Or they won't take anybody's word for that, that that it's near, that it's coming. They'll say, oh no, I don't even care anymore. I don't even believe in this and that. He's brainwashing the masses by doing that. All 14,000 subscribers, he's brain mass, brain mass washing him big time. It's a mad, mad, mad person. It takes a person like that to do that, to have the, you know, to have the nerve to do that. Really? I didn't, this is, this is kind of a rant video. I'm sorry, folks. It just, it really, it ticked me off after seeing this. I just got done watching him for five minutes straight, spewing out lies that he, that he is getting ready to come back today. The rapture is coming. It's coming. We don't know the day and hour. But if you, we're not going to set a date and say it's coming today and enough for it to not to happen. He's going to make, he's making a big fool of himself right now by doing that. So if you do come across a channel and it's live and you see a man doing this, write a comment to him and say, look, man, this is wrong what you're doing. You're doing this and you're you're leading lots of people into something that it could happen. You know, praise if it does if it does happen tomorrow, that's great. Lucky guess on his part. But never sit there and say it's coming on this hour and this day. And all of a sudden, you know, and, and you get it wrong, and you know, you don't set the you don't set dates, folks. Stop it. So, folks. I'm asking all of you that watch this video tonight to pray for this man. God knows who he is. Pray that he stops setting dates. Because all those people that were on there, they're going to freaking find out that it's not happened. Now, it could happen. I'm not saying it won't. It could happen. But if he gets it wrong... That's where it all the damage happens. It damages all the minds after watching that. All right, guys. My goodness. I, I hope I uh, didn't mess up anybody's hopes for the rapture coming. You know, I'm sorry. If you're one of those people that are viewing this channel right now, viewing this video, and you are you know who I'm talking about, and you're a follower of him, I'm sorry, buddy, but you might you're being lied to right now. He doesn't know truly when it's going to happen. But he's saying it's going to happen. So really, you're being lied to. You're being brainwashed. Hey, man, this video's been nine minutes already, folks. I didn't want to spend a long time on this video. But that's my rant for the day. I'm not going to come on here and rant all the time. But I had to say something about this. You know? And I'm going to pray for this guy again tonight. 700 live views. That's like three times or more of channels I've been on live with that had a lot of subscribers, more than 14,000. Those poor folks are going to find out that it doesn't happen.
They're going to be have their hearts shattered. I mean, they were all, it's like this. They were all had their hands up in the air like in a church. That's what it felt like. Praising this man instead of praising God. They were giving praise to this guy, folks. And they're saying he was great. They're calling him great. This man on YouTube. What's the matter with you people? Praise God, not this individual on YouTube. And he's setting a date? Really? Okay, guys, I need to stop. <laughs> All right, guys, talk to you later. Have a good night.